Well, hello and welcome to uh, this exercise on finding, finding the equation of a graph by transformation and IGCSE addition mathematics and A level uh, type question here. Now, this is the second part of a question sent to me by one of my subscribers. And it says the graph below is y is equal to f of x. And the graph is here. Then it says, starting from g of x is equal to x squared, find the equation of f of x. Now, the, the link to the first part of this question is here, this one here. That's the link. And the, the title of the first part of this question is called Sketching the Graph of 1 over f of x. Okay, now what I've done here is to replicate this graph and because it will make it easier for me to explain what I'm doing. Now you can do this question in less than three minutes if you know what you're doing. Right. The thing to note here, uh, or things to note here, are that there are some critical points and you got one at uh, 0, 0, one at 4, 0, and of course the minimum point there. And because this is a parabola, this bit is the graph is a parabola that is, that implies there's a line of symmetry somewhere, and the line of symmetry for this graph will be there. And this line is the line x is equal to 2. Uh, with that in mind, we can then find the coordinate of the minimum point there. Okay? So now we proceed. So what you've now got is this one here. The graph again, and the starting graph, which is g of x, is equal to x squared there. Again, note my minimum points at 0, 0, 2, 0, sorry, 0, 0, 2, 0, 4, 0, and 2, minus 1 there. Now, note here that the maximum coordinate for g of x is 1, when y is 1 there. So it's y is 1 there, and y is also 1 there. Now, there is no point going beyond 1, because from the x-axis to the minimum point, is only one unit there. So there's no point having a y-coordinate uh, greater than 1. Okay? So that now is the starting point for this exercise. So that's g of x is equal to x squared. Now, I want to transform g of x such that the minimum point there at 0, 0 there will be there. Now, I can do that by the process of translation. So I now translated uh, g of x to what I've called h of x with a vector of 2, 0. So this graph now is the graph of h of x. And the equation of h of x is h, so it is x minus 2 all squared. Now all I've done is to replace this x there, this one here, by x minus 2. So now h of x is x minus 2 all squared. Okay. Right. Now, for h of x, I need to transform h of x by moving my minimum point, or the whole graph if you like, such that the minimum point will move from 2, 0 to 2, minus 1. Okay? Now, to do that, I need to transform h of x by translation with a vector of 0, minus 1. And this new graph I've called j of x. Now, j of x has got the equation x minus 2 squared minus 1 because I've moved my graph one unit down. J of x is now x minus 2 all squared minus 1. Now, having done that, 
the question then is how do i get j of x to coincide with f of x and that requires the process of stretching now if you look at this point on j of x the point one zero and three zero now the distance from one zero to three zero is two units and that's what we got there similar points on f of x will be zero zero and four zero now the distance between zero zero and four zero is four units as we got there if we then divide four by two you get two so now to transform j of x to f of x requires stretching by a factor of two now that being the case we need to adjust this value here <coughs> by the reciprocal of the stretch factor the reciprocal of two is one half so in, in effect what we then have is a half of x minus two so now we've got that so our f of x is now a half of x minus two all squared now to tidy this up we get rid of this set of brackets or parentheses and multiply every term within this bracket by a half so now we end up with f of x is equal to x over 2 minus 1 all squared minus 1 now you can leave your answer at that but bearing in mind that we, we bearing in mind that we started off with g of x is equal to x squared if we say that d of x is equal to x over 2 minus 1 we can then write f of x as g of dx minus 1 so all we do is to replace x in g of dx sorry to replace x in g of x by d of x there and that should also be a correct answer thank you for watching and please please subscribe bye bye now bye bye